Now tonight, we're gonna see Team USA in relay action for the very first time, four by 100 freestyle relay for women. Now, this is one, Kara, that you are very familiar with, 2004 yep. and 2008. <laughs> what is it like to swim on the prelims, swim on the finals relay? What is the process that Team USA goes through in order um, you know, to assemble our team here? Well, first and foremost, it is such an honor to compete on a relay yep. for Team USA, <laughs> especially at the Olympics. I think that's like, that's the dream. Yep. And um, I know from my personal experience, just having people that have your back yeah. you know you're you're not out there alone there's three people that you can stand on especially when there's veterans on the team yeah um, this morning we saw Team USA put together a very strong prelims it's relay fast. yeah with Amanda Weir leading off with a 53 6 mm -hmm. which is a tenth faster wow. than what she went at Olympic trials Leah Neal Allison Schmidt both coming mm -hmm. in at 53 mid 53 high yep. and then surprise Katie Ledecky <laughs> with yep. the anchor leg at 52 6 so fast. And She's proving that she can do everything her across the range, board. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see about her 50. Yeah, it's amazing. And so the two that are on the for sure finals relay tonight would be Abby Weitzel and Simone Manuel. Yes. And then we have a couple other that we don't know the team yet. Yeah. And, and this is something that Team USA will keep close to mm -hmm. close to the heart. Um, yep. they, they won't let out who their finals relay will be. But um, with Simone and Abby finishing the top two finishes in the 100 freestyle, they're guaranteed the night spots. Mm -hmm. That leaves open two other spots. Yep. And based on the morning, we can guess that it might be Amanda Weir and Katie Ledecky. But then again, Dana Vollmer did yep. not swim the prelims relay, even though she qualified in sixth place at Olympic yep. trials. Dana swam the 100 butterfly and had a very strong 56.9. Yep. So we really don't know. It'll be a surprise to anybody. Yeah. But you know, we, we know that they're going to put together, the coaches yep. are going to put together what they think is going to be the strongest relay for tonight. And hopefully, hopefully can be a threat to those Australians. Yeah, exactly. And they're going to keep that close to the chest until, you know, because the relay teams are looking at, you know, who they're placing on. Team Australia put together a great, mm -hmm. they're what set the Olympic record this morning. And so, right. I mean, they're huge contenders. We're going to be putting together the best team that we possibly can. Yes. going into this final tonight. Yeah, and that's the other thing about relays. You know, regardless of how fast you do swim at Olympic trials, the relays really are decided on who the coaches think is the fastest in this mm -hmm. moment right here, right now. Yep. You know, trials were four weeks ago, but like I said, we did see some very strong swims yeah. from all four so of those fast. girls this morning. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if it is the two of them, but that mm -hmm. being said, we do have Dana Vollmer as the outlier. So yep. we'll see about tonight. Yeah, we're really excited to watch. We're going to be tuning in just like you. You can follow us all week long through USA Swimming social channels on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, usaswimming.org, as well as our YouTube channel, USA Swimming. Use hashtag swimunited.